Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Africa campaign featuring the modern day 4 mod. In the last episode, with all of our troops distributed out to the various fronts and everything pretty much ready to go, we initiated the war with the Eurasian Union to take the territory that they uh, control in Africa primarily, which is going to be Algeria, Libya, um, Congo, Angola, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. But, in order to do that, we're going to have to knock out the entirety of the rest of the Eurasian Union, at least those that join the war. And so far, most of them have. If we look at the diplomatic map mode, um, we are at war with um, Guatemala, Nicaragua, uh, Ecuador, Dominican Republic, Cuba, um, all those various African states, Russia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, and uh, Cambodia, and who? Brunei. Brunei as well. Alright, so... We have begun to make some headway, as you can see by the brighter green color. We are making some progress in Ecuador. We're beginning to make some progress in Congo and Angola and in Zimbabwe and South Africa. We've punched into Libya a little bit and we have begun pushing into Russia itself. So, things are looking good. We did our pair drops here near St. Petersburg and over here near Smolensk. We've taken Smolensk and what we're going to try and do, we'll see if we can get it done, is kind of connect this part of this pocket to our front line here and then push north and then push, um, well, take St. Petersburg and then push south and create a giant isolated pocket here and then destroy it wipe out all of the Russian forces in that pocket and then we should be good. Are there Chinese volunteers in here? There does appear to be Chinese volunteers. Okay. So that is what we are going to work on. But let's go ahead and just do a bit of a situational analysis. We had a lot of naval combat. Um, a lot of naval combat. We sunk large portions of the Russian Navy. We lost 20 maritime patrol planes for no gain. Sunk frigates. Maritime patrol aircraft are getting a lot of work done. Sinking small ships. We had a massive battle in the Black Sea. Where we lost a lot of ships, but we sunk, you know, most of the Black Sea fleet. Uh, there go five convoys. There go 11 more convoys. They may have been trying to move some troops. 13 convoys. Another 13 convoys. This definitely looks like they were trying to move some troops around in the water, and uh, we caught them. And we were able to land our... Naval invasion here into Sevastopol. Sevastopol is now under our control, and we are pushing into the Crimean Peninsula to take control of that. And then we'll try and get across the um, the strait here. I forget what this is called, and then push into the Caucasus region and start taking um, all these guys. I think we're also at war with somewhere in the Caucasus. Oh yeah, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and. These guys. Knock Chivan. So yeah, we're going to try and knock all those guys out. I'm not sure one army is going to be enough to do it, but we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's take a look at the air war. Well, actually, you're going to have to unpause the game for a second so we can do some calculations. Alright, we have these air zones contested, but we don't have dominant control over them. They do have this air zone held. So, it may be worth 
our time to go ahead and put together we have a lot of these light jets not sure I'm really gonna want to use them Uh, we may. We're not making our own, so we're kind of just limited to whatever stock we've captured over the over the years. But uh, we'll just use our standard air superiority fighters, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to send this full squadron of 200 out there. And then I'm going to tell them to split in half once they've arrived. We could also use some close air support of some description out here. Alright, split them in half, give them both their orders, send them up over there. We don't have control of this. Or do we? No, no, that's that's not ours. We have this airfield. Um, we don't really have a lot of UAV squadrons. That we are making them. So let's let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's put one, two, three, four hundred UAVs. Let's deploy them out. They're cheap and easy to build, which is their advantage. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to split them down in the hundreds, tell them to close air support, put them over there. Alright, we have more naval combat. So I got to miss a cruiser. Sunk another guided missile cruiser. Shot down 23 of their planes. Uh, we sunk... Nope, just shot down planes. Uh, shot down planes. Shot down planes. Shot down tons of planes. Tons of planes. Yeah. The fleet we have out here is wrecking the enemy aircraft. Okay. So, let's go ahead and take a look at this, because this is kind of critical here to get this working. Alright, so we're through. Uh, I'll leave two divisions here. These two divisions push that way. We're going to link up the fronts. Really shouldn't be worrying about those guys right there. That, that's that's not who we need to attack. We need to attack there. You guys need to attack there as well. Perfect. Retreat units into there. That's fine. Oop, oop, that looks good. So we get this maneuver successful. We could really break the backs of the Russians, I'm thinking. All right, we're about to take St. Petersburg. That's very good news.
Man, they are moving slow. Affected by 70% attrition? Why are they suffering so much attrition? See, sunk some Cuban ships. Speaking of Cuban ships, hmm. Santo Domingo appears to be very heavily fortified. I'm not sure our naval invasion is going to work. At least, not there anyway. Units are already falling out of the out of the attack. That's fine. Uh, we'll try something else there. All right, we sunk a submarine and two corvettes. We lost 18 maritime patrol aircraft. Okay, we've taken Saint Petersburg. This army, you're on aggressive. No, actually switch to this. And I want to tell them to spearhead south. Right? Spearhead south like that. That that's that's not a spearhead attack. That's just take everything. Well, we'll see how it goes. Alright, our fronts have linked up. And you also get a spearhead order. that original order first and then we can assign everybody to that new order tell them to go for it We've been able to make some headway up here with this army. They can probably push that way. See if we can't take, um, push. No, 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 not, not all of you. Not all of you. Stay, stay there. You re-engage. I want to see if we can take Murmansk. Ah, new APCs. All right, sunk a submarine in the Black Sea. Sunk four more submarines. We lost a guided missile cruiser. Okay, not the worst thing in the world. Sunk another sub. Sunk some more Cuban vessels. Sunk a couple more ships with naval strikes. Uh, we need new, uh, APC, right? Yep, new APC. Go ahead and cue that in. Free military factories. Let's go ahead and... I'll switch up the APCs. Actually, what are we short on? Are we short on anything? It doesn't appear so. Is there anything that looks to be dangerously low on stock? Uh, 
Not really. Cell propelled AA only has 7,000 units. So I guess we can go ahead and say, let's get some more of those. More naval battle, more Cuban ships sunk. Yeah, so what's the issue here? Entrenchment. Commander skill, air support. They have five of five coastal forts. That that would not be helping. Okay. So we're going to kind of let this kind of just play itself out here a little bit, and then uh, we'll revisit that. Let's just go ahead and delete that battle plan. Just just tell them to just tell them to. Forget it. But we are getting their their fleets sunk, so that is that's good. How goes Ecuador? Okay, Ecuador is collapsing. Mexico still has not joined. Not that I'm arguing. Everyone was fully secured. Crimean Peninsula. Alright, well, I think what we're going to do here is we're just going to rush... rush south with these units. these guys manually to just push push down here and then we'll try to link up get this envelopment done Well, they appear to abandon that front, so we should hopefully be advancing there soon. More effective port strikes. Oh my goodness. We lost 53 maritime patrols, we sunk four corvettes, three frigates, a cruiser, and 11 nuclear attack submarines. No, 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 that, that's pointless. You guys push north. Nice that we've taken that city. But that is not what the ultimate goal here is. At some point, they're going to realize what's happening. Can you guys attack across there with support from these guys? You know, usually it's not a great idea to try to attack across the river, but it's, you know, it's 
what we've got to work with at the moment. It's going to take 55 days to traverse that distance. Or no, is it to traverse the whole distance? I, I don't know. Okay. So that didn't work. Invading... The Dominican Republic there. Let's see, what would be the best alternative option? We're not going to come in straight into the capital. That's a victory point. So here or here? I'm thinking there. Let's go ahead and let's queue up a naval invasion there. And this time we're going to make sure that we actually have some air cover because apparently we're going to need it. Um, let's get him over the Caribbean Sea. Multi-role fighters? Mm. Let's go with air superiority fighters and then we'll bring in close air supports of different varieties. We should have a lot of attack helicopters, I think. Yes, we do. Bring in 300 of those. All right. So the attack helicopters might... Oh, nope, nope, they're going to have the range. Okay, there we go. Let's put them all up there. And then we'll let that plan. Alright, we're pushing into Libya pretty well. Algeria still has not joined. We've almost completely collapsed Congo. We've almost completely collapsed Zimbabwe. Not making too much headway into South Africa. Or Angola as of yet. We'll see how things go. Really low organization. So then at least just get there first. Being affected by attrition. Don't we have, um... No, we don't. Uh, 
You guys should be on air supply mission. There we go. And these guys should be on air supply mission. There as well. That should help. Zimbabwe is down, first to fall. We only have 200 fighters. We don't have any air sup Um... You guys can probably move. And push yourself over there. We probably don't need you here. I don't know. No. Maybe not all 500. Let's let's take two squadrons of attack helicopters and leave them there. All right, let's go take a look at Zimbabwe. Just a large contingent of foreign units. Is Botswana involved as well? Botswana does appear to be involved as well. Ecuador is down. Alright. Again, just some... Looks like African troops remaining. We'll wipe them out. Take that last province. And then we'll have other business for our armor to get onto. Sunk some convoys and a Guided Missile Corvette. Sunk some more convoys. Sunk a carrier. And a attack sub. Another submarine. Another submarine. Another Corvette. And a frigate. And that was a submarine down. And we sunk a nuclear battle cruiser. That's very nice. Another Corvette. Or. Frigate, I think that was. Got a missile corvette. Convoys. And a submarine. I've been sunk. And an Archangelisk. We sunk a ton more ships. We lost 50 more maritime patrol. But we sunk a destroyer. 15 frigates, 6 corvettes, a nuclear attack submarine, and a guided missile cruiser. Oh, oh, oh. This, this looks good, this looks good. These guys need to recover. Oh, they're retreating. That's... Do 
Can we actually drive those guys back? Oh, no, drive in there. You guys attack them. Make them think twice about what they're doing. Perfect. And we're about to complete the pocket. I think. No, no. There's still going to be a corridor there. Then we completed a pocket here. Ooh, that's... That's a bit of an issue. Well, I mean, it's a bit of an issue for them, but it also... We don't exactly have a lot of troops on this pocket. Uh, let's get these guys there. Let's see if we can get those guys in. Alright, you guys drive in there. You guys drive there. Can you guys get over here? Belarus has capitulated. You guys, you guys drive back because because they're gonna retake St. Petersburg if we don't we don't uh, pressure them there. Right, Belarus is down officially, but there's still a lot of enemy troops there. We sunk 18 convoys and two submarines. And a corvette. And some convoys. And two more submarines. Seems like all they have left over here are submarines. And we're sinking more submarines and frigates over here. Another major strike on Archangelisk. Frigate down and a cruise missile submarine down. All right, and we're about to close. The oh, we got reinforcements in there. No problem. Drive them out, and we've closed the pocket. All right, that's a that's a good looking pocket. Okay, but we are at the end of the episode here. Well, there's an opportunity to create another pocket here. Uh, so what we'll do is now that we have these guys cut off, we're going to take the effort to destroy them. And then once these guys are destroyed, we're going to redistribute our forces and continue pushing into Russia. Uh, let's see. Uh, Congo has been reduced all the way down to their last province. Um, we need to push across Botswana. If we can get across Botswana, we can open up another flank on South Africa. Um, Ecuador has been totally destroyed. And waiting to see what happens with Mexico. And we need to try this invasion of... The Dominican Republic again. We may use this armor as part of that. Oh, I'll have to see. Alright, but as I said, we're at the end of the episode. We will continue working on this when we come back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.